Hello everyone, I'm Mora, the Les Bikinicon from Coin Info News, and today we are here with a very special guest, Damon Bryan from LightPayCoin, the cryptocurrency based on POS and masternodes. Damon, how did the LightPayCoin start? Well, uh, to give a little, once again, I'd like to definitely thank you for inviting us on the to the show to give some, um, give our fans and our investors and the other com the community um, more information about what we do here at LightPayCoin. And how it got started, LightPayCoin was really uh, more, it was organic. Uh, members are, were traders online. Uh, we, we would, well, we didn't know each other initially, but we often would set up masternodes on different, a variety of different coins. Um, it was the case, we noticed that several of us would slowly but surely merge from one coin to the next coin, setting up masternodes, and we'd chat, say, hey, you're here on this coin too. How are you doing? And we'd come in around the same time. So we had similar investment strategies, and we started building relationships over several months. And then we said to ourselves, um, this is getting kind of boring, jumping from masternode to masternode. Um, why don't we build our own coin? But at the same time, why don't we begin to fulfill the promise of the promise of crypt di digital assets or cryptocurrencies in making them a unit of account, um, a medium of exchange, and a store of value? So we were really looking to fulfill the, the promise of digital assets while also providing our investors a high early investors a high return on investment so at our core we're looking to meet those three characteristics well basically a unit of account a medium of exchange and a store of value um, for light pay coin and bring it to the mainstream that's really all that's the goal of that should be the goal of most digital currencies but that's our primary focus bringing it into the mainstream Wow, that's really great. How about the vision behind Light Bitcoin? Sure. Um, in terms of our vision, uh, once again, we're, we're looking to meet those three characteristics, um, store value, meet of exchange, unit of account. In essence, to meet the characteristics of money. When you think about money, uh, how it's used today, or paper money, or fiat, um, it has those characteristics um, that I mentioned earlier. In addition, it's it's fun it's fungible. Uh, most the earlier cryptocurrencies and most cryptocurrencies aren't fungible. That is, for instance, with Bitcoin, uh, which is the, the granddaddy of them all. Um, it's pseudo anonymous, so you can look on the blockchain, you can see those how transactions are happening back and forth, uh, but you can trace where that money came from, or where Bitcoin came from, or by looking at the transactions. But in the case of LightPay coin, uh, we inherit the characteristics of the coin from which we forked, which was PIVX. And PIVX had a goal of being private, um, also anonymous, uh, being at the point where no one could track transactions. At the same time, it, wanted, it built in these dark sin or dark sin capabilities whereby you could not track the transaction, thus meeting the, the characteristics of being fungible. So you don't know where a particular transaction came from. Uh, at the same time, any other coin or any other light pay coin is just as is just as equal as any other light pay coin. So we wanted to meet those three characteristics I mentioned earlier, in addition to it being fungible and bringing it to the masses. So that's that's really our long term vision at the end of the day, where you can use it for a wide variety of different purposes, um, paying utility bills, paying your taxes, being able to use it in peer to peer transfer or being able to um, at the same time donate to online or brick and mortar businesses. So that's really the main one of the main visions to bring it into the mainstream. And we have a great team, a great set of developers great set of partnerships, including yourself, and they're helping us to spread that word. Oh, well, that's a really great vision. Can you tell us more about the most important milestones of Light Paycoin? Well, we, we have a lot uh, when you look at it. Um, in terms of our economic performance, 
um, we give a great return on our investors who buy masternodes, um, a roughly $300, $300 US per day. Uh, when you look at our daily volume, um, it, we're around 70, 73, 74 BTC, roughly in terms of daily volume, also 490 BTC in terms of our market cap, which is over 3 million in approximately 30 days. So roughly $100,000 per day, our market cap is increasing on average. Uh, we have crossed a wide variety of different milestones in terms of our the exchanges. We're on Crypto Bridge, uh, number one in vol daily volume on Crypto Bridge. Also in terms of Escodex, um, we were listed on that and within a, a, a week or so, we were number one in volume on that exchange as well. Um, at the same time, South Exchange is another exchange that we're on. Uh, we were recently um, accepted to be listed on, like, excuse me, I, I just want to make a, a Quick correction. Uh, it's stock exchange. We're, we're listed on stock exchange, crypto bridge, Escodex. South exchange is the next exchange on which we will be listed. We're also targeting for this month of July, um, coin exchange and cryptopia. For an all, this month, coin exchange. Next month, it's cryptopia. I see. What also. Uh, there's more. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, Go on, please. Yeah, in, in terms of uh, because it's a lot, and I'm just trying to keep it organized for our, our investors in the community to let them know there are a wide variety of different things that have, have come into play. Um, in addition to our partnerships, uh, we also have put into place um, our relationships for building and deploying our, our wallets, um, beginning to conduct research and development activities within academic settings around all of our technologies, such as, in addition to the wallets, you're talking about the point of sale devices, you're also talking about the contactless um, ATMs using the near field communication technology as well. Uh, also in, in our milestones, one of our biggest milestones that I'm very proud to announce today live uh, to you is we have a partnership with one of the top universities in the world in terms of engineering, computer science, and human factors. Uh, this university is in the United States. It's the University of Central Florida. They were, the University of Central Florida as background was the university that was commissioned by the state of Florida in order to help put a man on the moon. So it has a very long history in research, development in aerospace and defense, and it is still one of the, the top universities today in terms of R&D in the aerospace and aerospace and defense industry. Because I'm a graduate of the University of Central Florida, the university thought it was a great opportunity to begin to dip its toe into the blockchain space. There are certain universities right now that are beginning to do research um, on the next generation of of cryptocurrencies. For instance, Arizona State University, uh, they were given a grant by Dash to, con to conduct research and development. So following along the lines of, of Dash, even though that was a grant that was given to Arizona State, we have a multi-year partnership with them to conduct research and development on everything from human factors, um, how do you interact with a wallet, in addition to or, or how do you interact with the point of sale device and the ATMs. Um, of particular interest, we have one of the foremost and, and leading researchers in the area of traditional ATM machines and its user interfaces. In fact, she was my professor um, at the University of Central Florida in Human Factors. So now it's the case that she and her students um, are actually guiding efforts um, with us in being able to conduct research on the software interface, hardware interface, and user acceptance testing. So we have the world's, some of the world's leading experts in a wide variety of different areas. I only mentioned human factors, but in engineering, we have the, we're ranked in the top 20 in the nation in terms of industrial engineering. Uh, so we're bringing world-class research and development to at attack some of these practical problems in the space. And I, great, I think 
the University of Central Florida is a great partner for us in order to be able to accomplish this work of deploying the point of sale devices um, and the contactless ATMs. Because of my background in, in government, uh, it is the case that we will begin to engage local, local governments for utilities. We already have a, a, a local government in the United States that's willing to participate in our pilots for the deployment of cryptocurrencies to pay taxes. So that's another great advantage. And we're really leveraging some of the um, achievements of the earlier cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, where in the in Seminole County of Florida, it is the, one of the first counties in the United States, if not the world, to allow citizens to pay taxes using cryptocurrency. So why go somewhere else where there may be resistance to uh, using cryptocurrencies, but let's establish that beachhead in Florida and just begin to expand across the nation and then use the partnerships that we have with um, the university and the students who are looking to get practical experience, not only in user interface design and hardware design, but also in the sales and the marketing of, of LightPayCoin and its payment network. Well, this is really amazing. Yes, I, I'm, I'm excited my, myself, my team, high speed, low drag, we're, we're ready to go. And, and once again, we could not do this without the community. We could not do this without the support of news agencies like yourself. Um, but we look forward, and this is only the beginning. There's going to be more and more news, news to come. And I have a special announcement uh, at the end of the program, um, and I'll share that um, once we get there. Okay, uh, Damon, let's help our viewers understand a little bit better your project. What exactly is LightPayCoin and what makes it different from other cryptocurrencies? Okay, I uh, alluded to some of this earlier, but then I'll, I'll make explicit how we differ from other cryptocurrencies. Uh, if looking at all projects, all projects derive now from Bitcoin. Bitcoin solved a very critical problem a problem in using digital assets, and that is the issue of double spend. However, Bitcoin has an issue in terms of its fungibility, um, where you can look on you can look on the blockchain, look at the explorer, and you can trace transactions. So it's not anonymous; it's pseudonymous. Um, from there, there were other cryptocurrency, next generation cryptocurrencies that developed, such as Dash and Pivx. So PIVX is a fork of Dash, and it's the case when you look at PIVX, it was looking to solve the fungibility issue. Uh, also, at the same time, instant transactions. So looking at it in terms of being able to solve the double spend problem with Bitcoin, the grandfather of them all, looking at Dash and PIVX having their, uh, their own versions of instant send and private send and solving the issue of fungibility, what we're doing is we're moving it forward. We're moving, taking the ball and we're carrying it forward, leveraging all of the innovations that have taken place so far in the cryptocurrency space and bringing it to the mainstream and providing a very high return for the early investors that we have in this space. So we really, we're, we're different in the sense that we're really aggressive in pushing it into the mainstream in terms of having the near field communication devices so that you can use it at a contactless ATM at the same time to make purchases either online, you can make purchases offline. And really the, the next wave is pushing it for mass adoption and not only for personal use peer to peer, um, but also for business use um, online, offline, and also for government services as well. When you're looking to pay your taxes, buy license plates, or any other government services that are provided. So that's really one way we really differentiate ourselves in being able to meet all of the characteristics of money, as I mentioned earlier, um, unit of account, um, a medium of exchange, store of value, also being fun fungible, and at the same time, being able to, for mass adoption. One of the things when I know, I, I'll know that we are successful is when my mother, um, who is over 80 years old, she's 81 years old, when she's able to pick up her phone 
and send me some cryptocurrency. Well, I send her some cryptocurrency and she could send it back to me and say, baby, I know how to use an LPC. And I was like, congratulations. I know at that point we will have solved the problem because we want not only people who are um, older and the citizens uh, who've been on this earth for a long while to see this technology come to fruition, but we also want it to be used for individuals who may not necessarily be tech savvy. And we want very clean, sleek, user-friendly uh, interfaces and be able to realize that and take feedback when, when it comes and be able to modify and adjust our product and then push it back out to the market. So, and that's one of the reasons why we are very focused on doing research and development around LPC. So that's really one of the, 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 the long-term vision. I know we'll be successful when we accomplish that. Does that make sense? It makes completely sense. Thank you. This is really nice. If your mother can use it, everyone can use it, especially because you know how they say about old people. If they know how to use something, everybody knows. It's really important to make something really accessible for all categories of age. Yes, yes. That's, and that's, that's very important. You, we, and we don't want to leave anyone out at the end of the day. We talk about the billions of people that are unbanked across the world, we talk about the, the younger generations coming up who may not have access to technology. And at the same time, if they do have access to technology, may not be as familiar using it. But most importantly, our older generation as well, who may still hold on to fiat, and that's fine. Uh, but we want them to have options just like everyone else, they would have options. So that's, that's really one of our main goals. How about the master nodes? What can you tell us about them? Sure. Um, when we discuss or talk about um, cryptocurrencies in general, there are really two classes, real two major classes of, of, of cryptocurrencies. Uh, ones that are based on aspects around proof of work, um, some proof of stake, but yet there are new types of master, new, new types of cryptocurrencies based on master nodes, and we are that next generation of cryptocurrencies that are based on master nodes. LPC is once it's a hybrid um, cryptocurrency in the sense that we have a two-tier network, uh, one for regular nodes that use proof of stake, and then there are other nodes called master nodes, which serve very specialized functions within the network. For example, when we begin to discuss the aspects around fungibility and being able to send instant transactions, uh, characteristics that Dash possess, PIVX possess, and as a consequence, we possess, um, it's the case that the master nodes serve that special function within the network, guaranteeing the transaction in the sense of it being secure, being instantly sent to uh, the, the party uh, or sent across the network. And we reward master node owners uh, who maintain or secure the blockchain. So with that being said, master nodes serve a very special function in terms of making sure that we meet the characteristics of fungibility, uh, also that transactions are, are private specifically, and at the same time, being able to send these transactions instantly across the network, which, facil which facilitates brick and mortar and online payments with, with commerce. So it doesn't make sense to send a transaction and you sit in the store, you're trying to finish your Starbucks and it, it takes an hour and a half for the transaction to process or 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, it's the case with instant send. Um, that transaction is within two to three seconds. Uh, and that's really the main purpose that our master nodes serve in terms of securing the network at, at the same time, in addition to um, and being able to make sure the transactions are anonymous and instant. So that's really the special function of the master nodes operating within the LPC network. Speaking of payments, how about the wallet? Excuse me? What can you tell us about uh, the wallet? Oh, the wallet. Yeah, the wallet. Sure. The, right now, the wallet serves a core function right now in the, the network. Um, all of our wallets, um, except for the ones that we've recently deployed, our wallets now are desktop wallets for a wide variety of different operating systems um, for Linux, um, Mac, and for Windows. Uh, a nice user interface so that one can easily send transactions, receive transactions, 
uh, encrypt the wallet for protection. At the same time, masternodes are operated from the wallets. So it's the case that you can monitor the network um, from the wallets. You can set up your masternodes, deploy your masternodes at the same time from your wallet. And that's really the core fee, some of the core features. There are some other aspects that I can get into and I don't necessarily want to um, confuse everyone when, in, when talking about some of the details around the, the encryption technology. But that at the end of the day, we have top of the line encryption technology, very sleek and easy to use user interfaces to send transactions, receive transactions, and to be able to manage uh, master notes as, as well within the wallet. And that's just our, our desktop wallet. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, at the end of this, at the end of this talk, I will just re reveal one of the surprises of our, our devs have for our investors. Okay. Um, how will Light Paycoin enable contactless payments from the mobile phone? Sure. Um, the, using the NFC or near field communication technology, one can easily place uh, the, the mobile phone to any other reader that can begin to read the QR codes so that transactions can be registered and, and, and sent across uh, the blockchain. Uh, that's one of the areas in which, which will differ from most of the ATM uh, machines that are out today where you, you have to engage with it in, in some way, but with contactless ATMs, uh, one can just easily begin to engage in transactions, scan for deposits, um, scan for um, withdrawals of cryptocurrencies and or fiat um, when you're talking about either euros or you're talking about um, one in other other countries or you're talking about the US dollar so the the near field communication within mobile devices will facilitate um, the contactless um, 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 payments okay uh, can light bacon be mined um, at this point, um, you know, we, we really wanted to move away from the aspects of mining um, light pay coin, particularly because of the issues um, associated with the uh, consensus algorithm or the proof of work um, algorithm, for instance, using Bitcoin, uh, using that SHA-256 algorithm to mine. Uh, it's been estimated by some, um, I don't know how accurate these estimates are, but it's been estimated that um, the Bitcoin network uses as much electricity electricity as a small country, um, such as like Denmark. Um, it's the case if this continues, uh, we'll be in in a an issue. We'll have concerns in countries whereby we will be utilizing a lot of electricity. And proof of work is one of the best algorithms out, but. Um, there are other algorithms such as proof of stake that would, would, would begin to ease that, that footprint in, in terms of electricity consumption. So even though that's about as large, if not um, somewhat smaller than the energy that's being used by the credit card companies and their payment networks. So we decided to move away from that and move to a proof of stake um, and proof of stake and the master nodes. And for our network, that consumes almost no electricity at all except for when you're running your either running your master node or your virtual server um, within um, either the, the cloud or within a, a co-location facility or even on your your laptop itself so we moved away from um, proof of work moved to proof of stake and using master nodes to re reduce that um, energy consumption footprint and plus, I think everybody's energy grid might need an upgrade, uh, but that's a problem that uh, we'll begin to tackle later on down the work later on down the road. And I do think cryptocurrencies or the blockchain will be able to solve some of those issues around the energy grid used in various countries around the world. So, to answer your question, after that long explanation, the answer is no. We do not um, um, use mining uh, with LPC. I understand. Damon, let's take a look into the background. What can you tell us about uh, your background and uh, the team? Sure. In terms of our, our team, because we all met online, we were either traders, we were either master node, we set up master nodes, or either programmers. And there are a lot of programmers uh, within um, the master node community because to set up a master node, you'd have to have some proficiency in terms of setting up a 
setting up a machine, uh, being able to secure it in terms of being able to, uh, to build, create your firewalls, um, opening up ports, um, being able to have those communications. So most of the members on the team have programming experience. Um, I'm a, a developer myself. Uh, in addition to having a, a mathematical or a quantitative uh, background of uh, the team, uh, we consist we consist of individuals who are from the, the Philippines, from India, from Croatia, from the Ukraine, Russia, and the United States. A very diverse team. Um, we have various skill sets, but at our core, we're we're programmers. At our core, we're some of us are, are traders, um, and at the end of the day, we decided to build LPC, and we all believe in digital assets, cryptocurrencies in general, and like Paycoin in particular. So, with that, with that very diverse team, we'll have reach across the world um, to go to South Korea and engage, to go to the Philippines, or go to Croatia, or Croatia, or to grow, go to the Ukraine, because we all have individuals who, or individuals working on the ground to make light pay coin once again a mainstream a mainstream cryptocurrency for everyday use for personal use for business use and for government um, my background in particular i, I I'm, I'm, I'm passionate being in this space um i first learned about cryptocurrencies back in 2000 2013 um in my first startup which wasn't necessarily in uh cryptocurrency, but I heard Bitcoin, and then I thought about the word bit, and when you think about the word bit, which comes out of computer science, um, it's a byte, short for binary digit. The person who actually invented that term is a mathematician out of Princeton University uh, named John Wilder Tukey. John Wilder Tukey was my professor's professor, so in essence, he was my academic grandfather. Uh, so I, I have a, a, a strong um, bond, if you'd say, to to Bitcoin, once again, grandfather of them all, then my academic grandfather actually invented the word bit. So I think it only, it makes sense that I participate in this space and help to push it forward. Moreover, when you think about software, he invented that word as well. Uh, and being a, a programmer, I've done research for and development activities for Fortune 100 companies such as IBM, um, Humana, a Fortune 100 insurance company, and doing predictive analytics designing programs. I, I think it's fitting to be able to bring that technology or bring that um, creativity or diversity in skill set to the space because I think we need all we need a lot of different people to begin to participate not only in cryptocurrencies in general but like pay in particular when you talk about user interface folks familiar with user interface design people who are great in marketing, branding, um, sales. Um, we need all of those people, um, but in terms of my, my background, it's, it's primarily in the area of uh, behavioral economics, um, psychology, um, mathematics, and statistics. Um, so I, I think we have a variety of individuals across the world, as I mentioned earlier, in all of these different countries who are participating. And we, we'd encourage other members to join our Discord, um, follow us on Twitter, um, join the team, uh, at, and help us to begin to realize the dream of digital assets and, and cryptocurrencies, particularly when we talk about light pay coin. Once again, we want it to be the number one cryptocurrency used across the world uh, in terms of everyday usage. So that's, in essence, where we are, and we'd like to continue on that mission until it's accomplished. Being having a military background, I'm a soldier, very disciplined. Um, like to see clear objectives, mark those objectives, and then find out what we need to accomplish them, and then set out and accomplish it. And I think having the team members and bringing them along and following feet and having the feedback from team members, the investors, others in the community, some of our uh, business investors as well who have actually purchased masternodes within our community. Um, so not only do we have uh, retail investors with masternodes, there are some um, small and medium-sized businesses that have purchased Masternode and, and see it as a, as a passive form of income for themselves. Um, and with that interaction from the business community, um, individuals working, and our future interactions with government and, and our pilots that we will begin to do to pay for government services, I think that those are the basic characteristics that we'll have in place to really help drive the user adoption across the world for um, like Bitcoin. Wow, this is really amazing, Damon. Congrats. 
Uh, thank you. Don't and I'll take that and give it to the community and our partners. And you, I thank you once again for inviting us on because without uh, organizations like yourself, you know, we wouldn't get that coverage. Um, we're the new kids on the block. Um, we're doing great things for our investors, doing great things for our community, and it's reciprocal to the extent that we have great partners communicating with us, helping us to get the word out about Light Pay Coin. Uh, we have our community that's giving us feedback, that's participating and having um, a positive reaction. We have some negative reaction, but I take some of that negative reaction uh, to what Light Pay Coin is doing as some people may not like it, and that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, I see it as a measure of our progress, because if you're doing something great and you're not receiving any um, uncertainty, fear, and, and doubt, then it's the case. I don't. I don't think you're really accomplishing the goal that you set out to do. So I, I take the fear, uncertainty, and doubt as a measure of our our progress. Any of the criticism that might be made against the coin, if it's valid criticism, we'll take it in. We'll take that feedback. Go do conduct our due diligence. Do the research. Do the development to the degree that those criticisms are valid. We make the appropriate corrections. Um, to the degree it's not logical or it just it's not based in any any reason at all and people want to um, criticize a coin that's fine that's what they they have the opinion to do but you could also do it on another coin how about the future plans of light pay coin future plans um, as I mentioned earlier, we already have the partnership with the one of the largest universities in the world to be able to conduct research around, and development activities around the software user interface, um, the hardware as well, um, in addition to being able to deploy it with one of our pilot, uh, pilot organizations, a, a small local government, um, and then just being able to drive that adoption in August of this August of this year, we have been invited to uh, present our, our prototype of our point of sale device. And we will be doing that. And it's, it's a prototype and it's going to go through some, a, a lot of R&D users, user acceptance testing before we roll out the, the production version. But we'll be able to demonstrate this to a wide variety of local governments. So that's one of the, 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 on our road show, we'll be very excited to actually begin to meet more and more local governments who may be interested in using uh, light pay coin, not only as a, uh, a means of paying taxes and, and other using government, government services, but perhaps if a small government purchased a masternode that has a very high return on investment, could that, could though that return on investment be used for other government services? such as athletic programs or for educational programs or for universal basic income. Um, could that be the, the framework or the groundwork that we're laying in being able to have governments purchase and actually maintain and secure the network using masternodes? I think it's a, it's a viable option. So that's, those are some of the things that we're very excited about um, in, the, in the future, uh, being able to subsequently roll out the ATM machines, because I, I do think at first we'll have the, the point of sales. We already have the wallets. Um, we have the, uh, the desktop wallets. Uh, we just completed and we're already in the alpha testing phase. In the next few days, we'll be able to roll out our mobile wallet on Android. Yes, our mobile wallet is, is ready. Um, once again, we're right out of the gate. Um, not less than say 45 days from launch we have our mobile wallet ready we have pilot customers we have partnerships one of the top universities in in the world and we're pushing forward to be able to realize the vision of digital assets this is really cool how about the surprise you said you have for us at the end of the show yes that's and that's one of the the surprises that i, I just revealed here and i am going to show our our mobile wallet that's actually it's it's ready it's prepared here oh, that's amazing so this is our light pay coin um mobile wallet it's, it's it's still in alpha testing but in a few days everyone will be able to download the wallet to engage in in, in mobile uh, mobile exchange mobile commerce 
Um, it's at the point where small businesses can immediately begin to use it if they, they chose to use um, like PayCoin. Individuals can begin to engage in peer-to-peer -peer transactions, um, which is what we'd like to do. And once we're in government, they'll be able to go pay their taxes using their mobile phone. Oh, that's amazing. Less than, like I said, we're, we're, we're fresh out of the box. We're not too, we're not even two months old yet. And with the great development team, with the community that we have, um, I think we're on a great path to be a, accomplish the goal that we set out to do, to become, to use LPC as a, a everyday use cryptocurrency. Oh, that's a lot of progress you've made. Congrats. Um, thank you. And once again, I would thank you for helping us to get out the word about LPC. I would like to thank our community, um, our, our investors at the same time, both retail investors and some of our um, business investors. Um, and and we, we, we see some interest of maybe perhaps institutions being uh, very interested in light pay coin as well. Um, but we'll, we'll wait to all of the infrastructure has been uh, set up in terms of custody, institutional investors being able to come on to exchanges, and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to provide access to our, our products and services uh, then uh, through those exchanges. But we're very excited about our future. We're very excited about the team. We're very excited about the partners and the community. And once again, um, it's we couldn't do it. And it's reciprocal. As, as you help us out, we help you out. And community, we want to give you a great return on investment uh, with some of our marketing partners. Um, once again, bringing more users or right, more eyeballs to your website or to your um, to your organization as, as well. And it's it builds. And uh, like I said, it's it's. It re it's reciprocal and we'll be at the point where we'll, we, once we accomplish our goal, I think everyone will be happy in actually transforming this digital age that we've moved into. Um, we saw the internet when it first came along. People didn't think that you'd be able to order things online. People didn't think that you'd be able to um, read books or be able to engage in commerce online. Now, um, the financial in industry is being disrupted and we want to challenge the incumbents. So um, I think it's an industry that's long overdue um, in terms of what happened in the 2008 financial crisis that really shook the world. And, and, and when you look at the, the banking industry and the finance industry um, in, in, in general, um, so we want to help usher in a new uh, generation of digital commerce using digital currency to f f once again fulfill the um, the dream of Satoshi Nakamoto. Thank you, Damon. Everyone, this was all for today about Light Paycoin. You can find out more on their website. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.